Constantino. Qué vale. Pound for pound. Little Boxing. Here with Mr. Pedro Murataya, yes, first sir. and foremost. First and foremost, you're a teacher. Talk about that, how you're a teacher and a fighter, how you split the two. Yeah, um, man, I, yeah, I was teaching before before my boxing career even went up. Teaching what, though? Uh, preschool. So I had my, man, one-year-olds to five-year-olds. And I had two classes. My favorites were the three-year-olds and the four to five-year-olds. Um, they're just, uh, babies are amazing. I don't know, to me, I've always been a child person, so um, I got my, have my bachelor's, so I got, I got that position, and I loved it. I did it for two years. Um, once COVID hit, it stopped. It, school was closed down. I was, and I was training. I was still training um, being a teacher, but I just never had the time to go, like, uh, just have a big opportunity for a fight. So I was, I was really focused on teaching, um, but once that happened, I got a I got the opportunity to fight at top rank, and they they I they loved me, man. They they loved that I was a teacher. Um, I blew it. Yeah, the whole story. Um, I had my three fights there, and then unfortunately the third fight I pulled the I torn my bicep. Yeah, my third during during the fight. So I'm, still and I still, man, I was, uh, but um, I won. So that that came out good. I'm, I'm not sure if Top Rank heard about the injury, and they just ever since it, it, I took a year layoff. Um, but once I got better, I just haven't had an opportunity for Top Rank again. But man, I'm, I already have two professional fights after my surgery. They've both been amazing. I won both of them. My last one was a knockout. So I'm just trying to continue to get, stay active, uh, get my fights up, and hopefully get a big opportunity. For those who don't know, I'm Mr. Gabriel. What's your name? Right now, it's 7 and 0. 7 and 0 for 4 knockouts. Yes, sir. Talk about your fight. Um, my style is, I, I try to, I steal a lot of moves from my little brother, Raymond Murataya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, uh, he's assigned to a top rank, he's 14-0, uh, 12 KOs, and man, he's just, I really think he's the, he's another Canelo, just a dark skin. Man, yeah. he's, he's really smart, strong, um, just very smart, but also putting pressure. So that's what I'm, I've really been... Learning from him, man. Believe it or not, he's my little brother, but I, I really learned from him. And yeah, just I think uh, I would just call myself a counter puncher. All right, Mr. Gabriel. So it looks like now, um, part of the teaching, that's the pause, and then now it, yeah, that is pause right now. I'm just trying to focus on uh, boxing. Um, yeah, because that, like I said, that school closed down. Job. Yeah, job. exactly. It, it's very hard, but I mean, if it was open, I'm sure I would have, I would have found a way to still do them both. But unfortunately, the school closed down. Like it's Damn, not that's active, and yeah, that's a wrap. So um, I could have pursued, kept looking for teacher jobs, but I decided just to stick with boxing. I really love it. Um, doing good on it. I'm not gonna just give up something that I'm that I can pursue, you know. So I'm gonna keep doing that. See where it takes me. All right. And what's your weight division for those? A bantam weight. Bantam weight. Yes, sir. One twenty-two. One eighteen. One eighteen. I'm sorry. Yes, Brain fart. And. Um, when do you see yourself fighting for world title, Mr. Gabriel? Man, I'm hopefully soon. I'm getting up there in age. I feel like, I feel like I'm 18. I'm 28. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're young. Yeah, but uh, I really feel like I'm younger, and hopefully, hopefully within this end of this year. What are some the of the things that you're looking at at winning as a champion? Uh, I I really don't know. There's not much, but I mean, uh, I know Bam and. The professor, you know, I spar with them all the time and they're champions, you know, so and they give me the best work and I just know they're up there, I can be up there as well. Alright, and who are some of your favorite fighters? Uh Canelo, my favorite is Roy Jones Jr. Yeah, yeah, that is yeah. that is my favorite right there, but as of right now it would be uh, Canelo. I really yeah. think he's the best. Alright, and anything you want to let the people know? What do you have a fight schedule next or are you just training to stay um, uh, I think I have something in June. I think I have a uh, fight in June, just uh, getting ready for that. Just, right. I'm trying to continue my fights, 7-0 hopefully, 8-0, 9-0, and then get an opportunity. All right, then, 
Mr. Gabriel, yes, sir. Anything you want to get off your chest and let the people know about you? Uh, just uh, keep supporting me. I promise you, the school teacher, any uh, promotion, I will, I will give you guys a story. Uh, people, people love a, a preschool teacher fighting. That is uh, insane to them. So. Uh, thank you for supporting, and we're gonna continue. What, what, what would the parents say before I let you go? Oh you man! You Honestly, to? I never, I never told the parents. I always thought they would judge me. They would, you know? Scare them off or something. Yeah, I always thought so. So they, they loved my personality and how I just you know, involved with the children. So I just wanted to keep it that way. But I did <laughs> like, hear, I like did. Superman he with an alter ego. <laughs> exactly. Felt like uh, Hannah Montana. Yeah, Maybe yeah, yeah. two different lives, but. No, um, I did find out like once I was on top rank for a little bit and on the TV, I seen a few parents did contact me and they're just like, they're supportive. So I really love that. They're like, that's amazing. We had no idea. So that's awesome. Yeah, they were super awesome.